view of what I'm doing. Looks like I've got a dirty lens as well. Oh, good start, Esther, good start. Okay, let's push you up a little bit. Hopefully you can see my desk and my paper. Today I'm going to create a one sheet wonder, it's known in the trade. So we just stamp all over one sheet to create a pattern. And then I'm going to make a really simple box. I did a version of this the other day using some... Uh -oh. Turn off those notifications. Uh, I did one the other day using rainbow colours, but today I'm going to make a masculine Valentine's one. So the colours I've chosen are Real Red, Merry Mellow and Basic Grey. So using those nice bright red colours for Valentine's but adding a bit of masculinity with the lovely grey colour. I'll be using a stamp set which isn't available to all. It's available with a um, as a freebie gift if you manage to get an order up to £275. It's called Punch Party and it matches two um, stamp sets, sorry, two punches that we've got <clears throat> um, that are stamping up sell. It matches the postage style stamp punch and the heart duo one. Now, I don't know if I'll be using the punches today. We'll just have to see how our project ends up. So let's get started. Um, I need the pattern on my paper to be multi-directional. So I might actually turn my page around so that it's portrait. And then um, try and make sure that my images are multi-directional. So starting off with the heart stamp and I think I'm going to stamp this twice and have it overlapping because it's got enough ink on there to do another impression. I'm just turning it again, remembering to go in different directions as I stamp. So this is the thicker of the white cards that Stampin' Up! sell and they've just changed over their suppliers so this is actually the old style thick cardstock called Thick Whisper White. So they've brought in some new uh, white paper and it's called Basic White so not too difficult to remember. Just want to do those edges. In fact, you're not going to see the edges, so I don't need to concentrate too much on the sides. Right, next we're going to go in, actually we're going to fill those. So in that same stamp set, you have got this sentiment here. You make my heart happy. So I wanted to fill the sentiment in some of those hearts as well. So if you're joining me live, please do say hello. It'd be lovely to have you chat along and if you've got any questions now notice I've got a blob that has come up on my I think it was just something stuck to my stamp so we're going to get rid of that hi Ellie <laughs> welcome nice to see you yes um well yeah I've got a list of to do things and I thought I better quickly get on and do this because Valentine's Day is what tomorrow and I bought something to put inside um, no, I've bought something for my husband and I thought it would be nice if I could make a box to house said thing, <laughs> which I might show you at the end if it fits in. So, hello, nice to see you all. Hi, hi Joanna, hi Kay. I wondered if anyone was going to join me today. But nice to have people along watching. So these are what's called photopolymer stamps. These are actually clear, so I can actually see through them. Hi, Cindy. Great to see you. So I kind of like the idea of like a collaged effect. And um, oh, I've got to stamp that a little, press that a bit longer. So I'm kind of just stamping all over. Hi there, Sheila. Hi, Christine. off the camera view so just give a chance for that ink to adhere to the paper don't 
be too hasty. Now, I did say I was going to go in a multi-direction, but actually, <coughs> excuse me, with this stamp, it can go in the same direction. I've just got to think about how I'm going to use this project afterwards, you see. There, lovely clear image. I'm just going to bring you in a bit. Joanna loves this stamp set, but she hasn't used it enough. Ah. I've had a little bit of a play, but this is nice to actually be able to do a bit more stamping with it. Like I said, you have to have a £275 order. It's quite a big order, quite a big ask, but because I'm a demonstrator and I've got customers, I've managed to put in a big order. Um, to get my hands on this stamp set. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. I wonder whether to add some more things in. I think I will, but I might do that afterwards. So, I wasn't in love with it when I got it, but seeing it used makes a difference. I think sometimes just when, absolutely, I agree. When you sometimes see something like this in a catalogue, um, you're not quite sure what it does, but when you see it come to life with colour, it makes a big difference. So I'm going to use basic grey, and these are our new Stampin' Up blending brushes, blending brushes, I should say. And this is some decorative gold foil that you can use as it is. It comes in a pack with um, a few of these different shaped sheets, as well as some smaller designs as well. And it's great for stenciling. I tend to use the foiled side so that I can wipe off the colour and use it for another colour rather than using the white side. That's what I've learned anyway. Uh, Joanna used the Oh Baby sentiment for a new baby card. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh baby, you are already loved more than you know. I don't know why my, my picture looks a little bit blurry, but let's just call it a nice romantic smoky look. So I'm just going to place my stencils down and I'm going to rub over it. I've just dabbed my, my brush in the ink. I'm just going to rub through that stenciling so it gives these almost like track marks actually, don't they? But I used this same stencil on the uh, Valentine's card that I made, so I wanted it to have some kind of... I've just had an idea. I wonder whether I should go this way as well now. Let's try it. Feeling in the mood for experimenting. So I'm just going to turn it around that way. Okay, I didn't want it quite like that, but there you go. <laughs> it's done. When it's in the box, when things are folded up, look slightly different so I think I just didn't want it so uniform okay that's nice to have what's nice about stenciling that not only can you cover up boo-boos but you can get a different range of color and I can see through so I'm not going over all my stamping I can see where to put the stencil Hey, that looks quite fun. Oh, it's not blurry. That's all right then. <laughs> it just looks a little bit... Now, I don't need to concentrate right on the edges because those edges are going to get folded anyway. And in fact, I don't need to concentrate on one side because, again, it's going to be folded over into a box. So I will just rub off the excess from my brush just so that you can see the completed design. And then I think I will add some more hearts in because it comes with a really cute little heart here. <laughs> I think, to, and to be honest, I don't spend a long, long time doing things for men because they don't always appreciate. Um, I'm not saying he won't appreciate it, but um, they don't always appreciate sometimes things that go into it. Now, in this stamp set, it comes with this stamped border. And I wondered if that actually fitted around this stamp here. So I'm going to give it a go because curiosity is killing the cat, as they say. I'm going to lie it down flat because it is just the border. It can bend out of shape. Oh, fallen into my ink. So I'm just going to use the grey just to see. And I'm going to stand up for this because I'm going to see if I can carefully line it up on top. Oh yes, look. <laughs> Kay's like, stamp on scrap paper first. 
And I totally ignored that and just did it anyway. I'm going to try again. So I don't know whether it'd be easier to do the frame first or whether to do the... I think it's probably easier doing it this way around. Oh, that looks so cool. I like it. Okay. Might be slightly off on that one, but it's okay. Remember, it's going to be a box anyway. So you're not going to see all of the design. Um, okay, we might as well finish it off. Now, I've been naughty and I've not put any paper underneath my surface, which I should do, because that's when you get smudges. Somewhere around here. I've got a piece of paper. <coughs> Excuse me for the throb in my throat. Sometimes when I get talking, it <coughs> makes me need to clear my throat, so sorry for keep doing it. Oh, I've just realised... That little heart I've got out fits in there. Ha! Huh. I didn't know that. Look. Oh, genius. Love that. <laughs> See, it's not until you actually start playing. I had no idea. I thought, oh, that looks familiar. Sorry, I'm missing some of your comments because I'm getting carried away with seeing... How things go. Look at that. How cute. I was just going to use these hearts by themselves, but these fit in here. I'm loving the colours as well. It doesn't have to be for masculine, but these darker tones tend to go well for masculine colours, don't they? Okay, let's just catch up on any comment. Stamp it on a scrap paper. It's like a hot air balloon, it is. Good morning, Mary. Or oh, is it icy where you are? Okay, I might just add on a few little hearts by themselves. Actually, yeah, we'll just do concentrate on the two do a double heart let's cover up some boo-boos my smudging more smudging from me again I think I'm just going to concentrate on the top bit because that's where it's going to be and not worry too much about the sides as long as I get the right bit last time I did this I did the wrong bit for the top okay just going to move you up a little bit here. Oh, an ice storm. Ooh, keep safe. Okay, I'm going to get out my trimmer. Move my stamps off to the side a bit. And then I'm going to score. Oh, look at the back. <laughs> look at the state it's in. Score at, uh, I think, a three quarters of an inch is a nice size. All the way around. I know, right, Kay? It won't be an Esther project unless it has a smudge. I'm getting used to just having smudges on my project now. It's like, it's like my token thing. <laughs> I'm definitely not a perfectionist crafter. I'm just going to have to fill the inside with like tissue paper or something. <laughs> okay, so I've scored around all of the same, all of the sides with the same measurement which is three and a quarter inches <clears throat> or it's about two centimeters just under two centimeters where's my bone folder okay and then we're going to fold up now which is the front this is the front it doesn't matter but i just need to remember for later so i'm going to fold up the paper in half and line it up to this top half Top score line and crease it. Good day, Pamela. Nice to see you. A nice crease with my bone folder. 
and then we're going to turn it around and do the same on the other side so I'm going to bend it over Whoa, it doesn't want to go and just encourage it to crease oh thank you thank you Ellie three quarters not three and a quarter three I meant three quarters this is why I get myself into trouble telling people measurements Ellie's right th three quarters of an inch not three and three quarters and then okay so the creases aren't as pretty but you know when you're just knocking out a quick and simple box then it doesn't really matter this is this is going to revolutionize revolutionize my box making I'm such a mucky pup can't believe the amount of smudges <laughs> okay so easy peasy Oh, Amy, welcome. Thank you from Michigan. <coughs> oh, welcome. <coughs> I should have brought a drink with me, shouldn't I? <coughs> I don't know why my throat's playing up. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so which bit did we want for the top? The bit with the hearts. I must remember that. So now I'm just going to get my paper snips. Yeah, the smudges are just, you know, part of the detail. <laughs> and we're going to cut simply up those corners I'm going to cut away chisel away at some of them or most of them I think I need to do to help with the overlapping so I'm cutting away that, that um, just a smidge where the fold is Uh, Janice says she loves the way of making boxes. I use the method to make a box of note cards. Cut up the... That's to cut straight up the rectangle and wedge into the squares. Thank you. Do you mean this middle bit? I think that's... And cut into this. It's the squares that have been folded over, aren't they? I think I'm right in that. Because last time I did it, I didn't quite get it right. Oh no, I've cut that wrong as well. Yeah, I see what you mean there, right? I've got you. Okay, so cut up that side. Oh, uh, see, this is where I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna non perfectionist crafter. You want the main part to be square, and you want this bit to be wedged. <laughs> do as I do, not as I say. Is that right now? So straight up one side and wedge the other. Hey ho, we got there. We, we'll just do it. So now simply tuck in the flaps. We'll put a bit of glue on them. I think I might use, now that I've got it, my stamp and seal, which is a strong glue runner. I'm going to put down my silicone mat so that the glue doesn't go where I don't want it to. We're going to put glue on all the flaps, like so. And this silicone mat is great for any glues. Oh, uh oh, what's happened there? Uh oh, what's happened? Why are you tearing off my paper? The glue's having a funny five minutes. Oh, why is it doing that for? Okay, let's try another flap. It was working a minute ago. Oh, what are you doing? That's strange. Oh, it's having a funny five minutes. Let's put that to one side. I'm going to use some wet glue. <laughs> okay, and then... Right, we can do those last. So you do the four for the base. And you join those up. This is where you need straight edges, and I haven't cut straight edges. And you want to bring that one up, and this one. Okay. And for the lid, it's best to just give it a chance to glue, to uh, put your box lid on 
before you glue the flaps because then you get a better fit for your box okay so that's one side and I always always go ahead and stick it and I forget to do the um like a thumb cut out a bit for your thumb and all that business but that's okay there we go so that fits in nicely like that just give that hold it down because I'm just giving because it's wet glue it has about 10 seconds before adhering so if you want you can tuck um touch punch a little hole or circle in the front I've got now this is now retired that's why I've got a red dot on it but this is quite a handy little punch it's half an inch circle I'm guesstimating where the center is I'm just going to do half a, a semicircle so then you can put your thumb there and you can lift lift the box so we're just going to finish decorating the front and let's just have a look um we could just use what we've got i think let's find some It'd be helpful if i had a bit of card on the table let's see what we've got here yeah. there's one i used earlier and i need to produce some Gray. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Now let's see actually how big is this? I wonder if that one punches that one. Let's find out. There's only one way to find out, and if that's to try and give it a go. I think so. This comes as a duo pack, so you've got the heart shape and you've got a scalloped heart. And I was going to put a different colour scallop, but I think, let's just check. Yeah, I think I need the scallop tart to actually cut this one out. Look, these little strawberry tops are getting everywhere. So let's have a look. So you need the scallop. There we go. Oh, that's cute fits around the edge so I could punch out another heart actually actually this is always say wait there's more I'm just trying to find my I've got crafting, you know what it's like. Okay, I wanted to have another heart on it, I think. Let's see. There, that's better. Okay, I might do that. And then, in keeping with our theme, just use the stamps that you got out. stamp so clearly so if you like these projects I'm using like I said this stamp set is with a big order but if you like the idea of stamps and these punches that I've used you can purchase them from my online shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk or get in touch to have the catalogue sent to you if you're in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands I'm going to pop this up with a dimensional this just makes it pop up a little bit and as I say that will do and Let's 
blue. Oh, I can't believe I put a smudge on that. I could have put some ribbon or something on it, but you know. I'll we'll just put some twine. Now I have ordered the grey twine, which I've not got yet, which would have been perfect. So for the inside, let's see if these fit. I think I could do with some nice tissue paper. Let's see what we've got. Some of this kind of just brown packing paper. I want to scrunch up. A bit of a rustic feel. <laughs> Does it look really messy? Let's find out. Inside is going to go some. Oh, look, perfect size. I wanted to even measure it. This is just going to be a packaging. Men don't mind about the packaging. Look at that. Perfect fit. Honestly, I didn't measure it and it's perfect. Look at that. Fabulous. Fabuloso. Actually, look, there's me saying you don't need to stamp the sides. I was wrong. And I can just put a bit of black baker's twine. Seal this up. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Oh, very cute. Make something from a brown package, make a little bit more special. And then they don't know what's inside either. Just hope he doesn't watch the video. Because <laughs> I know he does. Oh, where are you? Should we try that again? Thumbs and fingers. There. My bow is a little bit gigantic. Let's just cut that down a bit. Can you see? Slightly off screen there. Ta da! There. Have I missed any comments? Oh, totally. Loads of comments. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a head down moment. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, let's go back and see what you're saying. Uh, I haven't got it upside down, if I know, it's fine, I think. Oh, my tape runner is upside down. I don't think so. Hopefully it will start sticking again now. I don't know what happened there. That was a bit odd. Um... Uh, Kay says she doesn't own the heart punches, but she's guessing she'll get them soon. So they come in a double pack. So you're not just buying one, you actually get both of them. So it's a duo heart punch pack, which is great. And it, they layer on top of each other. Um, yeah, you've got to see what's going inside. Ellie has only the heart dies. Yeah, it's really handy just to have some heart punches. Patricia says you can make a lovely card. Yep. Great. Thank you, everybody. I was pressing too hard on the runner. I'll go back and have a look. So I'll give you a sneak peek about, of my Valentine card as well. Hold on. So remember I said I was using that stencil in the back. So I've just used some scraps, actually, to bring this together, just to keep it really simple. Um, I think I had this as a scrap, and then these papers were from an old 
set of papers and a bit of glittery red and just try and keep it simple, not too girly, but um, they'll go together. Now, the other thing that I normally do is to make my boys a um, Valentine's card. Um, so I need to do that as well. So where are we? Running out of time. Okay. So I think, um, look, let's, do you know what? We could make a really simple couple of cards, shall we? Um, let's move this off so that it's somewhere safe. Okay, if you want to stick with me, I'm going to try and knock out a couple of quick cards. Now, these will be for my boys, so let's have a little think. I think I'll try and use the same stamp set. Uh, oh, I tell you what, I did have an idea with a different stamp set under my umbrella. And okay, I'm going to cut my paper in half. Grab in this stamp set and we'll use the same colours. I'm going to use this stamp set and this one to make some quick Valentine's cards. And get out the umbrella. Sentiment. Running out of blocks. <laughs> okay, there's one there. Let's take a few of these stamps off. Okay, I'm just going to go in with the grey. Just something simple. In fact, I've got another idea. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Gonna use the just to make it look a bit more effective. Oops, went slightly off there, didn't I? Okay, oh no, <laughs> let's try again. Keep going, Esther. That's better. I'm going to use the umbrella punch. So you've got the closed umbrella, the stick and the umbrella. Feed that through. Now that's the, I've deliberately done it at the end of my paper, so I just get the top of that umbrella. I've got one and two. Then can I do the umbrella stick? Put my thumb in that. <laughs> oh, I'm so clumsy. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so that's done, that's done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, have a look. It's cherry cobbler. Is this real red? Light real red. <clears throat> Hi there, Janice. We've moved on from our box and we're doing something else. So dark real red. I think I want dark to light. These are alcohol markers, they're very quick drying and the colours blend together. So I've got a nice dark and light red and it's dual ended. So you've got two types of nibs. One is brush and then you've got the felt tip end for finer work. probably pick up that it's a bit darker shaded at the top than the bottom. I'm going to quickly do this second one. So an excuse to try and make some cards for my family. These will go to the boys. Just as a, I wanted to start a few, you know, family traditions. So um, a few years ago I decided I would get a Valentine's card and I'd get something for Chinese New Year as well. This year it happens to be very close to each other and I've not had a lot of time to get myself organised. Hence, I'm going to quickly get it done today. So, I've got two umbrellas and we've got our cards now. I need to actually trim my card down before I carry on. I was going to wonder why it doesn't fit, so, oops, sorry, got my phone charging. So I like to cut it down at three and seven eighths, which is 9.85 centimetres, you know. Round it up by five and five eighths of an inch, which is fourteen point about fourteen point three. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? And I caught that. I'm in a rush, I must slow down. I'm in a rush because I know we're going out soon. I'm trying to do it before I go out. Okay, let's see if I've missed anything. Hi, Reed. Oh, okay. So because I've got a rough edge, I'm going to make that part of my design. I'm going to get my scissors. And I'm just going to open the blade. And rough up. And run it along the edges rough up the edges a little bit to make it look as if it's always supposed to be like that. And it might look a bit rough but when it's actually stuck down on a plain bit of card it looks quite effective. So it's an easy way to sort of put some distressing into your card without having lots of tools. Everybody's got a pair of scissors. Okay. So my idea was, do I have the umbrella? And then I want some hearts. 
Yeah, I might not need this one. Shall I use this one? Or let's stick to our other heart. These are quite big. Could use the hearts in here. Yeah, let's do that. We use the hearts in here. I'm going to go for Mary Malo. Okay, I'll do one and then I'm going to come off and finish off the other one um, more quickly, that's a bit easier. And then I wanted this sentiment showered with love. Could have that punched out, couldn't I? Um, let's have a think. Yeah, I might do the sentiment on another thing and then let's bring in our stencil again. <clears throat> okay. So I'll show the box that we did at the end if people are coming on saying, I thought she said she was going to do a box. I can't see a box. <laughs> this. Doing it on a stencil just gives it a little bit of depth. Gives it a bit more something to look at in the background. Again, it's nothing too complicated, just something quite simple for my boys. I'm just going to pop it on a bit of red card so you can get an idea what that might look like. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do maybe a bit more hearts. There's some grey hearts in here as well. Let's find something suitable. Uh, does it spoil my scissors scraping the sides? It probably isn't great for your scissors, but I don't do it a lot, so it's fine. And you can resharpen your scissors. Happy Valentine's Day. Ah, oh, Janine, you hardly ever catch me. Were the boys pleased with their red envelopes? Yes, especially what was inside. <laughs> Welcome, Chris. Hi, everybody that's coming. Sorry if I've missed comments. I am getting to that point where I'm trying to rush a little bit because I need to get this done because I'm going out in a minute. Just grabbing. It's too big. Some dies to see. No. I think I could do with Let's have a look. I want it sort of a bit more off to the side there. Okay, I have an idea. So 
so I used real red. This is what I could do with a little desktop die cutting machine. <laughs> Okay, I'm quickly going to run these through. So for those of you who missed the beginning of the video, I'll show you. You can have a look at what we made at the beginning, that's this. So you can stare at that for a little while. And I run through another one. Then I want to I think I might stamp thing. Yes. Oh hi Reek, thank you. Let's see if I can squeeze one in here. I think once you've done one, it's easier to repeat the second one. If you know. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, let's unplug you because I keep catching the wire. Do you know what? I might just use scissors. I'm at that point where I might. Do you know what? I'm just going to use scissors. Okay. Yeah, I've not heard of the Galentine expression before either. And when I saw the stamp set in the Stampin' Up! catalogue, I was like, what does that say? What is that letter? Because um, I've not heard of it before. So I've got a 15-year-old and a 10-year-old. Whoopsies. And until they stop getting what I call proper Valentine's cards, I will give them one in the meantime. <laughs> so I need a real red card. If I've got one. Typically, I don't have one for each cup. Get that done now. Centimeters. When did that express? Is it an American expression? I've never heard of it before. Uh, yes, I do know. I've got a little token smudge there. I'm going to put this sentiment flat. 
Oh, kids are all growing up. And then we're going to pop up the umbrella. So I think sometimes, you know, while you've got stamps and stamp sets and colours out, might as well use what's on your desk, make another project. And I love the idea of having a matching project as well. Gonna, let's try rubbing out this smudge. So I've got one of these mono rubbers. Might be a bit too big to rub out. Maybe, maybe I could just put a bit of <laughs> blend over it a bit. It's American, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, I think I might leave it like that because I, I was going to think of adding bling and things on it but actually I need it quite simple because it is for boys. So, I don't know why, maybe it's my, it still looks a little bit smudgy to me, um, frosty, foggy, what's the word? Let's try and... Maybe it's just my lighting. Okay, right, I'm going to get on and make the other one off screen, so it's not so much of a rush. But thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I wasn't expecting to make my cards, but it's good because I need to get them done. So earlier we've made this box out of one sheet of A4, super simple. It's got some goodies inside. Yeah, I'm going to give my lens a little clean properly. And um, these are going to be for my boys. I'm trying not to speak too loudly because they're in the other room and they might hear. So thank you so much. It's lovely to have your company. Good to see you. I'm going to turn the camera. See if my thing will cooperate. There we go. Sorry I've missed any comments. I haven't got another device to look up comments. So <laughs> Sheila says, I'm an American. I wouldn't claim that word, she says. <laughs> Ellie meant cheerio. Reet, lovely to see you and thank you for bringing your friends along. Yeah, you could stick a gem on it, couldn't I? But I don't think they'll notice. Just seeing if I've missed anything. Okay, great. Well, thank you for those of you who wish me Happy Chinese New Year yesterday. It was lovely. Um, didn't expect such a big response, so thank you. That was really sweet. And um, the boys, I love receiving their money packets. And thank you for joining me today to watch some Valentine's goodies. And please do subscribe to my channel to catch me again, either live or with an uploaded video. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's tutorial. And I'll be back for some more very soon. So take care of yourselves and lots of love and God bless. Bye for now.